I might sneeze. I hope you do. Yeah. Am I zipped? Are you zipped? I'm zipped. The lives of Broadway performers are busy. They only have a few short hours between their matinee and evening performances, and they're giving us an inside look, from grabbing a bite to unwinding, plus a backstage tour. Have you ever wanted to see what we do in the time sandwich between performances? Follow along and find out. This is Broadway Sandwich. Bonjour. You know, today is a spectacular, spectacular day because we're featuring a real gem of a show. Some might even call it a, a sparkling diamond. We're headed all the way to Paris. Well, Paris on West 45th Street. We're at the Al Hirschfeld Theater, home of Moulin Rouge the Musical. Welcome to the Moulin Rouge. Based on the iconic Baz Luhrmann film, Moulin Rouge is a celebration of truth, beauty, freedom, and love in a world of glitz and glamour full of bohemians and aristocrats. The music in this show is unlike any other. It features 70 songs. Now, not only are they featuring the iconic songs from the movie, but they've added more from people like Rihanna, Katy Perry, Beyonce, uh, Adele. Moulin Rouge was the winner of 10 Tony Awards, including Best Musical. Today, we're spending the day with Caleb Marshall Villarreal, who plays the choreographer Santiago. Now, Caleb and I have been friends for years, and we've even performed together. Caleb! Garen! Baby. Mwah. You are a sparkling diamond. Thank I you. love you. <laughs> How was your first show? It was awesome. It was really great. Yeah? Yep. So we only have a short time in the time sandwich between this show and your next one. Yeah. What's the plan for today? Well, I think we should get a smoothie. Ooh, then good. I'll take you to my apartment where we can dance on my roof a little bit. I can't wait. And then if there's time, I can maybe show you backstage at the theater. Oh my give God. you a little tour. Let's go. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Thank you. Oh well, welcome God. to my home. <laughs> I this love is great. it. It's so open, open concept. Yes. This is, we're juicing. We're juicing. And we're so, smoothieing. It's so good. What's your vibe on like eating, drinking between shows? Why, why the juice? I, I need, to, me personally, I need to keep it really light for the show. It's hard to do on a full stomach, so yeah. um, me and also Jess Golden, who plays Nini in the show, both yep. of us are on a schedule where we eat a bulk of our food, taking a bulk of our calories after the show. It's very like Italian Mediterranean It's very culture. Italian Mediterranean. Great. We're living in it, yeah. And so, and you, I mean, you really are a dancer at your center. Yeah. Same with me. Yeah. And we danced together before. Yes, we did at the Magic Opera. Opera. Yes, we did. And so, how did you get here, playing this starring role on Broadway? coming from a more strictly dance background? Well, it was not something that was really on my radar, actually. I, I had danced, you know, all of my life. I majored in dance in college. Mm. Um, I auditioned for the show back in 2019. All right. um, and I was cast as a vacation swing initially. Mm. Not long into that, I was bumped up to a full-time swing. Um, and I was a full-time swing there and a Santiago understudy for uh, a year, uh, up until March 12th, 2020, the day of the pandemic. Cut to uh, this past December, I'm sitting on my couch, enjoying a burrito, uh -huh. right? And I get a phone call from Moulin Rouge, and they say, do you think you could relearn Santiago in two days and perform it for the next two weeks? I was like, okay, yes, I can. I Amazing. can do that. And then they asked me to come in uh, just a couple months ago to potentially replace Santiago, and here we are. This role is such a heavy sing, mm. you know, much heavier than anything I'm used to, and it's a lot more vulnerable. It's a lot of solo stuff, right? Mm. I've spoke to uh, Ricky Rojas, who is the originator of Santiago. Yep. We're really close friends. Ricky, if you see this, hi, love you. Hey, Ricky. Um, he taught me a lot of specific things, uh, specific ways to warm up the voice for this sing. Ooh, like what? Show. what kind of exercise do you do? There's a, there's a really good one that I love to do, and you just do the siren whale, but you do it through a straw. Ooh. Oh my messy, gosh, but... it might be messy. Maybe I won't do it with this we'll do it one. do later. It'll just spew everywhere. <laughs> so when you were a kid, your dream was to get to Broadway and maybe cover a principal role maybe, in the right. show. So now you've surpassed all that. 
What it's is a, that like? It's it's absolutely incredible. It's been such a, a crazy journey getting me to this point. Um, and what's even crazier, actually, is that uh, Jessica Lee Golden, who plays my partner Nini in the she's show. She's dynamite. She's dynamite, right? If you've ever seen her dance, you know. We've been friends for years. We've done so many projects together. We've danced together for so long. And we've always wanted to be in a show together. We've been manifesting it for so long. Mm -hmm. Now, we're not only in a show together, we are Broadway's hottest dance couple. I want your drama, the touch of your hand. I want your leather studded kiss in the sand. Quiero tu amor. Ah, amor, more, more, maldito amor. Okay, so we got our juices. The clock's ticking. We're going to get you back for your second show. Yeah. What, what's next? I think we should go back to my apartment. Maybe dance on the roof a little bit? Let's do it. I've been How dying to it? see your new place. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Moulin Rouge opened before the pandemic. Yeah. Had to close for a while, came back up, closed down, back up. Stop, now it's, start, stop, start. Yeah. Right, because there's been so much going on. My opening week, the first show we had a full company and the rest of that week, we had up to, I believe it was 16 people out of the show. So, our, so how do you do the show when 16 people aren't there? Our incredible swings yeah. took on the insane job of going on for up to four roles at a time, four tracks at a time, Swings right? Swings are miracle They people. are miracle workers, they are so talented. And, and they, like, they know up to, you know, seven or eight roles in the show, right? 10 now, yeah. 10. It, the, the, the max is 10. Ooh, okay, this better be worth it after it five. It absolutely is. Floors of walk up. Oh my God, this place is incredible. Do you love it? I, I love it. <laughs> and it's so, it's, it feels so bohemian yeah. and artsy. All these things are great. It, it really does to me feel like this could be in the Moulin Rouge, like in the attic. It's so good. Oh, yeah. Wow. And so what's your history with Moulin Rouge? How long ago could you have predicted that you would be doing something like this? Gosh, as as far back as maybe 10, 10 years old. Wow. Yeah. That's when I first saw the film and I was really obsessed with it. Um, and I would watch it every single night, especially the tango over and over and over. And I was obsessed with it all the way through through most of high school. I did a, I did a variety show in high school and I had my drama teacher let me uh, choreograph that tango. Why do you think you're so obsessed with it? What about it is so you? Seeing a Hispanic man on the screen mm -hmm. in such a cool role was uh, super inspiring to me. I think representation matters in that way. So, yeah. yeah. Show me how you do that mustache. You got it. Okay. With all the tips and tricks. All right. Let's get up in this mirror. Okay. I trim along the upper lip line. Do you use right? like a buzzer? Either or... a buzzer or a little mini scissor. Not no big scissors. Not no big scissors. Will no, the no, will scissors. Will okay, scissors. uh-huh. Do you ever get food stuck in it? Uh, all the time, yeah. Do you need a wax or something? Uh -huh, exactly. Okay. Does it itch? No, it's, it's special. A special mustache wax. Mustache specific. wax. Yeah, yeah, you can okay, buy great. it online anywhere. Great. What's it like to kiss people with it? That's what we do. Oh. Voila. It looks great. So, you come back here between shows and dance on your roof, you make incredible social media dances. Thank you. You're a brilliant choreographer, and all of your videos have this like slick, beautifully edited aesthetic. It just oh, like, you. It, it transports you somewhere else. So I have a big ask. Hit me. Which is, would you help us choreograph a Broadway sandwich style Caleb dance? Of course, I would Amazing. love to. That would be so much fun. Let's do it. We're going to do it on the roof, right? Oh, yeah, we can go to the roof right now. OK, cool, let's go. All right, get ready. It's a tight squeeze. For what, just dig it up there? Yeah, you'll see. OK. Be brave. New York life. That's oh, not so bad. Not so bad, huh? It's not so bad. Oh, well, I love this roof. Isn't it's it beautiful. Great? OK, so Thanks let's do so a dance. OK, all right, let's do okay. a dance. Wait, change ball, change. Clap. Clap. Hey, then uh, then uh, we could go like, hey, 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 lasso with lasso point. Okay, wait, we have to go back. Oh, lasso, turn, ball, tandy, tandy, slide, groove. Oh my god, that's loud. All right, I almost forgot the whole thing. This is the Broadway sandwich slap.
All right, Caleb, this is our 60-second sandwich. Okay. We're gonna put 60 seconds on the clock. All right. Answer as many questions as you can. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Start. Oh, Instagram's Ryu J. Sunny wants to know, when did you know that you wanted to become a Broadway star? When did I know I wanted to be a Broadway star? 10 years old. 10 years old, how about that? How about Favorite that? color? Yellow. <gasps> Why? <gasps> Sun. <gasps> what or who is the last performance that inspired you? Uh, Ricky Rojas' last performance inspired me a lot, actually. That is so nice. That's sweet. Uh, Instagram's in the elephant. What in the elephant? What is your favorite number that you don't perform? Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, um, only girl in the world. The Duke's, the Duke's big song. Yeah. Love it. I love to feel that Rihanna, way. Rihanna, Rihanna. Are you a backstage prankster? If so, what's the best prank you've ever pulled? I'm not a backstage prankster, but we do have onstage prank games. Last night we were doing this to each other all night. It means a bad word in sign language. Great. Uh, <laughs> any tips for overcoming nerves? 15 seconds. Uh, 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 beta blockers. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, ever had a non-performing job? What? Barista, all through college. Coffee? And, yes. Nice. Last one. What time do you go to bed? 1 a.m. That's 60 seconds. Way <sighs> to go. Beautiful Woo. work. Thank you. Walk this way. All right, ready for the second show? Let's do it. I hope we didn't tire you out too much. No, no, I feel totally energized. You want to come Feel back it. here with me? Let's do it. Come on, crew. Okay, so we are in the Moulin Rouge. You are in it. It's so fabulous. It feels so immersive. Absolutely. You are starring in the show as Santiago mm -hmm. now. What does it feel like and what does it mean to you? It's it's a huge honor. You have this, you know, unique experience of like, it's now mine. How would I say this? How would I, how, who is Santiago to me? Oh, Interesting, right. when you take over a role, you have to kind of make your choices in real time. You don't really get the luxury of like previews and seeing what works weeks and what weeks doesn't. Of exactly. In the yeah, so, so you're kind of testing out new ideas yeah. in real time for a real audience. And sometimes they're great and sometimes they're not. And you just kind of figure out who your version of the character is as you go. All right, before I kick you out, I would love to show you my dressing room. Oh, I can't wait, let's go. Yeah, let's go. So here we are in your dressing room. Here we are in my dressing room. It's beautiful. It's so cute in here and cozy. Got Super this lovely cozy. chair and like a kind of in the navy In the nap style of the navy. Uh -huh. This love is this. actually a tie bed I found out recently. Huh. And I take naps here. And you mentioned some of this kind of vocal health Upkeep, yes. wellness yes. stuff. Where, what do you do here. when you get here? This straw, yep. I do a siren wail through the straw, and I put my hand here to make sure. Some people will actually put this in a cup with water so they can see the bubbles to make sure that they're actually mm. pushing air out. I don't do that, I just feel and I go. And I do it over and over and over and over again. It pushes it, it pushes everything forward. It's um, it's I don't know. It's amazing. Yeah. Great. Look at this, fabulous. Kathy Zuber. Look at the detail on that. This is the bolero that I wear for all of Act One. Also behind you. Ooh, ooh yeah. There you go. How do we look, family? Santiago, ready. <laughs> this is you and your sister. Yeah. That was That's the so night, night I made my Broadway debut. She happened to be in town. Actually, I went on by happenstance and it was just like in the cars for her to be able to be there for my Broadway debut. It was really sweet. <sighs> Babe, this has been amazing. You had the best day. Best day. I adore you. I have a show to do now. Yes, you do. Second one of the day. Well, make sure it's a spectacular, spectacular one. Mm -hmm. I love you. you. I love you. See ya. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye. Bye-bye.